Hi. I'd like to give you an overview of TimeZinc, um, one of the first uh, many applications uh, we've released with GoZinc built in. Um, so on the device, these are so open file browser, look at the files on the device. I've got uh, this file called TimeZinc Local. And this is designed to let you enter time really quickly on your iPhone and then sync it back up uh, with hosted databases. So before we demo it, let's take a look at what kind of what the background looks like. So when you get um, TimeZinc and most GoZinc solutions, you have a local folder. And here's the file uh, that I've just opened on the iPhone running locally. We've got a helper file, GoZinc Mobile, that runs alongside it. And then back on the desktop or on the host, um, you've got the, the hosted files, which will go on your server or your host. GoZinc doesn't require a file like your server. You can just serve these peer-to-peer. -peer. But here's TimeZinc hosted. This is kind of like the, the file where all the time lives. You can paste these tables into your solution or point it at your own solution. And then the rest of, of GoZinc running here. So let's take a look at what TimeZinc does uh, natively, first of all, and then we'll open up um, those other files and kind of see what it looks like. So um, first thing we're going to do is uh, go over to settings and just say, who am I? Um, it left the screen already because Bill was already here, but so I like being Bill. And then uh, let's log some time. The, the nice thing about this is that we've really optimized this to run as fast as possible on the iPhone. So let me just quickly uh, enter time about a project. So I click on the project and I get a list of those projects. This one has a phase and a task and a work type. And so I've picked each of those and then I'm gonna say, you know, I think I worked about two hours on there and I may write a note or I may not and I can submit that. Um, so that's good, let's, let's, let's enter another one for maybe a project that doesn't have all that stuff. Here's another project. Now that doesn't have phases or tasks, we skip right down to work type and again, how many hours. So you can see that this is designed to work really, really quickly. Um, so let's take a look at that. I'm gonna click home and go to review time. And you can see there's a bunch of time here that we've already uploaded. And then these two records that we haven't. So let's send those to our hosted database. And um, let's just bring this up first to see what it looks like before any records come into it. So here's GoZinc hosted. It's kind of our, our controller. And then this is TimeZinc hosted. This is just a really simple hosted version of the time file. We see we have a projects table phases, tasks, work types, and then here are the time records themselves. And we have 46 of them in here. So let's sync um, this with the mothership and see what happens. Whoop, didn't mean to rotate that. So let's go back home. We'll go to sync and let's click upload time. So it's gonna send that stuff off, preparing and sending, and we're done. Now that sync was a little fast because we're right here local on the same network as our, our iPhone is on the same network as our server. So over 3G, it'll be a little slower. Over Wi-Fi, it'll be a little slower. But you get the idea. The user experience is very clean. Now, that connection was really fast because we don't process them all the way into your file yet. To make the, the, the sync super fast, we leave those records in GoZinc's inbox. Here they are, where we could process them automatically using a server-side script or just kind of select here and process them manually. So when I click process selected items, we'll see those, those extra items come over into Great, and now we have 48 records, and there's the rest of our, our time that came in. So that's pretty cool, um, but Gozik can do a lot of other things. Let's, let's go back here. You can see upload time is dim now. Um, I could download tasks, right? Those are the projects, download the projects and tasks that I might want. And you could see that when I was logging time last time, I have uh, a bunch of projects here. I have these uh, five. And it turns out that if you look at the table back here, we have more projects than that. We have all these projects, but GoZinc is set to only pull down the active projects. And um, that's pretty cool and pretty important um, in terms of you know, a lot of workflows. You don't want to give everybody all records. You might want to send them just their records or just their projects. So let's change uh, GoZinc a little bit so that it only pulls down my active projects. And I was Bill, so I only have a couple of active ones. I only have three here. So the way we do this is really simple. There's a very simple script in GoZinc hosted, just kind of poke under the hood here, in this user modifiable folder called filters. And under filter records to Zinc, you can see this is the default behavior, right? Just show all the records. But we also have these separate if statements for different table occurrences. And this is just a simple FileMaker script that you can go in there and, and edit. And this is the one we're running right now, this find request. We're saying, hey, pull just if the project is active. Um, but I've written this other one here that I'll uh, enable that's only gonna pull my active projects. And we can see it's also finding where the staff short name is, uh, is we're, we're sorry, we're performing a find on the staff short name. 
So that's pretty cool. It's a very simple script in your mobile file. This is something you import into your file or it's already in TimeSync here that passes up a little bit of information to the hosted file. And in our case, what it passes up is this, this idea that I'm, I'm Bill. Um, so let's close all that. Let's see, we've enabled this. Okay, let's close, save that and close that and close all this stuff. Whoop, actually, we just want to hide it. Let's see, hide window, cool. And hide window here. So now when we sync, we should only get those few projects that are active uh, for Bill. So let's go to sync and download tasks. Let's see what that looks like. And all this uh, activity is scriptable. So if you want to change this messaging or change what's actually happening here, they're just FileMaker scripts for you to edit, which is uh, very cool. So we're pulling down all this stuff, pulling down the work types. Okay, let's see what happened. If I go to log a new project now, go to enter time, see, I only see the three projects that are active for me. So again, not only are we bringing down just a found set, but a user selectable found set. I could ask to log time as somebody else. I might have other solutions where I'm bringing down records by date range or by the geographic area I happen to be in. Anything that you can kind of construct as a find request, you can pull down or sync just those records. Um, so GoSync has one other cool feature that we should take a look at, and that's the ability, you saw it over here on sync, that's the ability to bring down a new version. Um, so let's get the iPhone out of the way here. Oh, this is Desktop Curtain, this beautiful app that brings in these, so you don't see all the mess on my desktop. Let's take a look at um, FileMaker here, and I think I have, whoop, I have to open the Finder. So let's open on the desktop, uh, the file we're using for movies here, let's open these um, two local files. So this is the local version, right, it's designed to work on iPhones, might not look nice here. Uh, this is a local version of what's running on my iPhone, and I just want to make a change to it. Let's say I'm changing a script, or I'm, I found a bug, or but I'm just going to make like a layout change so we know that um, the change went across. Let's just say um, I'm going to color this. Let's get the inspector up here. Let's just make some random layout change, like make that text red or something. Uh, appearance. Is that going to work? Yeah. Okay. So we've made a, we've made a little layout change, but the point is is that we can deliver this new build out to our uh, mobile users. So how do we do that? Well, there's a simple script you import into your file. Again, it's already in TimeSync. This is a part of GoSync um, called Prep and Upload New File. So let's run that, and it's going to say, Hey, what what build number do you want? Do you want to upload this? We we don't need to here. So I'm going to upload that. Great. That was all uploaded. So now we can go back to our um, back to our iPhone here and see what it looks like to bring down a new version. So remember back here, we still have the, the black enter time, um, but let's see if we can pull down that new version of the mobile file. So we'll go over to sync and click check for new version. Ah, cool, there is a new version available. And again, you know, this is my iPhone here offline usually, occasionally talking to FileMaker server to get information, in this case, to get a new build, a new code base. All right, let's hit install, see what that looks like. Bam, that fast. That fast to deliver a new mobile file to my users. Now that mobile file could have come down with data in it. Maybe I preloaded projects or I preload a price list and that's why I'm sending a new version of the file, right? Maybe I'm sending a new version because I've changed all our prices and it's too many records to actually sync. I just wanna send it with the file. Um, but regardless, I think you'll find this uh, a pretty cool utility for entering time. It's completely unlocked and has uh, GoZinx integration built in. Enjoy.